LeBron James stars in the Lakers win over New Orleans Pelicans as Giannis Antetokounmpo lead Milwaukee Bucks to 50th win of the season. Flamingos get new date for under 17 Women's World Cup first leg qualifier against Guinea as Serge Gnabry's brace help Bayern down Chelsea at the bridge. Barcelona hold Napoli in Naples as the Santiago Bernabeu host Real Madrid versus Man City tonight. My name is Kingsley Alpman and this is Sport Express brought to you by MTN. Gentlemen, what you about to hear? That encounter and Sacramento Kings defeated the Golden State Warriors 1-12-94. Moyo, let's talk about two games. Milwaukee Bucks, Toronto Raptors. We mentioned it here yesterday, yesterday Milwaukee yes. Bucks first team to qualify for the playoffs and right now they posted their fiftieth win. Mm. Of the season, of the season. Incre incredible performance by uh, by uh, Janis Atetokounmpo and his uh, and his boys. Uh, definitely, you know, Milwaukee Bucks is a team that they are very very good when it comes to before the players. They know how to grind out, they know how to get all these things done. But my question is, and my problem is going to be this kind of performance they are putting up right now. That can they put up their kind of performance when it comes to the playoffs? Because playoffs, the playoffs yeah. is the main thing. I mean, and it's always a different ball game. Is it, of course, it's, it's a different ball game. If they can keep a Janice Atitokoma and Chris Middleton in frame for for the playoffs, I think the Milwaukee Bucks they have uh, a, a, a big shout, a, a very big shout at the, at the title. Then the other game, Lo the LA Lakers, New Orleans Pelicans. And when I got in this movie, you, 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 you told me about LeBron James and the Zan Williamson. Zan Williamson. But Williamson really, well, he didn't really do, do too much. He didn't really do too much because uh, he, he, they didn't give him the chance to do so. But uh, the thing is, he's the number one draft in the NBA this season. And I mean, that guy's numbers is incredible. Zion Williams, he, he keeps getting better. He's, with he the still game. got 25 points? 29 points, 29. actually. Oh. And he brought, actually, he equaled the record. Uh, he equaled the record since uh, Camelo in 2000 and 2017. He has scored 20 points in nine straight games. Wow. I, I think that's also very, very, very impressive. And of course, he's a small forward also. So probably the next LeBron James. Okay, thank you very much, Moyo. After the break, the Nigerian sports. Welcome back. It's time for the Nigerian sports scene on Sports Express brought to you by MTN. Bolu Omoni is here for that. Bolu, we said it here yesterday that the Flamingos will be playing this weekend, but I think all of that has changed. And I have a new date, March the 7th. Yep. Need us through that. Well, um, the big question is, uh, okay, first of all, you said they will be having a legislature or legislative election on Saturday, it, and it won't be proper for them to be playing the game while the election is on, so they have to postpone to the next week. But my question is, are they just thinking about the election? That's where the big question is, because the election definitely would have been on ground before now. Could have changed this long before. Definitely plans to travel, money and everything. It means they will have to cancel all and everything is now a loss. Well, let's say maybe Guinea or Federation, like Guinea Football Federation would uh, repay the NFL, but the new date is 7th of March, which is next week. What it means now is that just one week in time between the first leg and the second leg. Okay, and I think the, the NFL really uh, has no qualms about that because they said there's no objection. Uh, very uh, but we need um, CAF now to just stamp and uh, uh, give their approval and we also hear the nff super falcons no you mentioned yesterday that the, the flamingos they are coach you mentioned one yeah they are being coached by the assistant coach there's no head coach right now so like we talked about if maybe he does well with the two games he may get the job on the permanent game i think all are female teams no no all are national teams are super because nobody's got a coach right now so and the promise we were giving was they were going to get the coach early but now Flamingos will be playing for the first no coach. But um, NFL. technical Falcons. director uh, Beatrice Berra, you have said the Falcons, yeah, they have nine shortlisted uh, coaches for three for goalkeeper trainers, four of them for assistant coach, then two for the head coach of the Falcons. So they are looking at them, but the interesting thing is all of them are local based coaches. Uh, they are looking at it. It is harder sometimes coaching women, they have to check out discipline, maturity. They must have been involved in one or two things before. Yeah, yeah. Before the so hopefully, as soon as possible. They'll get a coach. We'll pick one, one, one or two. Is it too months. difficult to get us a female coach? I don't think it is. At least we had one that, but they is always talking about. We had one that had no problem. That did so that well. Did so well, but uh, according to some people, she was not good enough to continue from her success. And also went on to say other national teams too will get a coach very soon. If the ones that are shortlisted don't even have a coach yet, I don't know how soon others can get their coach. But one other thing is, 
I don't know why the identity is being hidden. Kingsley and Bolu have been shortlisted, uh, shortlisted as coaches for the Falcon. Let's know. So even while yes. you are doing your you investigation... You can mention Yemi Adesoya and not Kingsley. <laughs> Yemi so, Adesoya and Bolu. While they are doing the investigation, we can also look into these men and probably pick out one or two points from them. But what, they know what he said until he gets approval. They won't reveal like that. I, I just feel the NFF and even our sports administrators, we just set ourselves up in to, different ways. You know, to, not even for success. Because uh -huh. you, you, you wonder... The way Thomas Denebi left, the way we've you gone about Denebi, this. there was a certain Randy. Yeah, and all of this just makes me wonder what these guys up there think about when they take decisions or even make decisions. So, Bolu, finally, there's a development on the Tiami Kazim issue. Yeah, um, yesterday the state governor of Obuse went to the family. Well, after a not so good state press statement before that, he went there, commiserated with the family. Then the report that came out that the officer involved. Even though, according to this uh, PPR, it did not push, or well, at least from what we heard from the body officer involved, that was um, dismissed. But uh, someone involved in death dismissed, but let's believe the investigation is the one. Well, let's just hope that this kind of sad occurrences don't reoccur again in our sports and even football. That's the Nigerian sports scene. After the break, Yemi Adesoya is here to serve us all the drama from Stamford Bridge and also Napoli. We'll be right back. Hello. Welcome back. It's still Sport Express brought to you by MTN and it's time for the World Soccer Report. Yemi Adesoya is here. Yemi, while, while we went on that break, we were looking at the way Bayern destroyed Chelsea. And Chelsea is one of the top four teams in England. And Bayern did not even you know, you break the sweat. Yes. Chelsea nil, Bayern 3, Napoli 1, Barcelona 1. I think Barcelona were lucky yeah, we to, to have come out with a result in this one because uh, 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 Mark Tester then made two brilliant, brilliant saves. saves. But your thoughts on both games? Um, I start with uh, the game at the Sao Paulo. Um, I said yesterday that I felt that the best result that Barcelona could get would be a draw. Sure. Well, well, yeah, I, mean, I, I need to mention this. I think in the last week or so, or two weeks, you've been spot on with your predictions. I don't know why, why I'm not always putting my money on it. I don't even take myself that serious. <laughs> I think I, I, from tonight, I start thinking, I hope the, the fortunes will not change. Will not change. <laughs> well, so you have to say that you didn't know what Napoleon was going to turn up. And he did turn up. And the style is very well respected. Obviously, it has records that he's chasing. And it seems to be getting into the group. But Barca continue to worry me because with the way they are going, the identity of this team, with their overall clamor for being Cruyff cares, yeah. the Barcelona tradition, the more they keep trying to tilt in that direction, the more they seem to be losing their identity. Yeah. I didn't see that last night. I didn't see it last night. And you have to give Napoli a lot of credit for the way they play. Now let's come to London. Hey, you know, we tweeted, London is red. Yeah. There's something about him and when it comes to London. Six goals. Seven two against uh, Tottenham in the group stage and he had four goals. Here he has the two. And what was amazing was how he played that well. That's it shows you that this is a team that probably has a few gears more yeah. to get into. Um, and it's interesting when you have a few young players coming through. Look yeah, at Alfonso uh, Davis. They are very slash Canadian. The pace, the audacity, the sheer drive that this boy has. Nabi, Coleman. You, and Coleman went out yeah. injured. You think Flip will, will, will keep the job on a permanent basis? Because you don't. Because Ban actually going through a transition now. Uh, Ule Hunes and uh, Karan Jumiga, one of them is leaving. The other has one year to go. I think they might just, joining, joining so they might, just, they might just decide to stick with him. Alright, later tonight, Real Madrid host Man City, Leon Juventus. What should we expect? I mean, any kind of Bayern Chelsea result? No, I, I think we'll have a lot more tighter games because um, Juventus are not the best going away from home, especially in the Champions League. And Lyon haven't done so well, even though they are, they are on the field in their last three, they only won two of the last five. But I expect Juve to do enough. Hey, they have a certain man who scored in 11 straight games in the. In, uh, in Syria, he scored the 16 of 18 games in for our country. So, Cristiano Ronaldo is the man to do the job. But City 
at Real Madrid is the game you have to watch. I think both teams are capable of scoring goals, but then you don't know which Real will turn up because Real have struggled of late. But when it comes to the Champions League, that's their forte. And City, for me, I think the psychology of all that things that concerns being banned continues to work on the team. So I expect Real to win and Juventus to win. All right, according to Yemi, Real to win, Juve to win. I hope you can put your money where your mouth is. Thank you very much, Yemi Adesoya. That's the size of our show, the midweek edition of Sport Express, brought to you by NTN. My name is Kingsley Akman. Have a lovely morning ahead. Good morning.